Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Seriously, thank you so much. <laughs> I love doing these videos and I just hope people want to hear them. So let's do another one. Today, I am very excited because it's a new year, it's 2020, it's a new decade. Gosh. Today I'm going to talk about seven items that are in your closet but are very out of style. I hope you guys can agree. <laughs> the first items are jeggings. Oh man, it's fair to say that the majority of 2012 through 2015, 16, they were a staple piece in my wardrobe. I went really hard for jeggings. They were so tight that you couldn't even tell where my pants ended and my ankles began. They were thin. They were better on my body 10 years ago. I think that's fair to say. With all those memories, <laughs> having being looked back on, they gotta go. They gotta get out of the closet. Instead, look for a pant that has more of a relaxed fit. I personally love boyfriend jeans. Mm, they just, they're so flattering for many different body types and they can be dressed casually, obviously throw on some combat boots or high tops and they can also be dressed up with heels and a blouse, maybe a blazer or a nice jacket. I love how versatile boyfriend jeans are. You can also try a straight leg, bootleg, demi cut. Those are when they just flare out a little bit. Now, I still love skinny jeans. Obviously, there's a place in everyone's wardrobe for skinny jeans. Just make sure that the fabric is a little bit thicker and please, gosh, please, Make sure that there are pockets on the booty. That needs to be happening. The next item in your closet that is out of style are empire waists. They sound so regal and lovely, but if you are so sick and tired of people thinking that you are pregnant, I've looked in the mirror and have questioned whether I'm pregnant or not wearing an empire waist. Eesh. If you want a blouse that does have a defined waistline, make sure that it rests at your natural waistline. That is where your waist tucks in at the littlest part and it's just going to create that hourglass silhouette that is so beautiful and that a lot of people are looking to have. The next item that is so out of style, and I'm sorry if you have it in your closet because I'm sure someone does. That's why I'm making this video because I keep seeing them. That item is the interview pant. Now this is the pant that someone convinced you that you needed at some point in your life, whether it's for an interview or a job or just like whatever it was. I don't think we ever bought these on our own is what I'm saying. We were, <laughs> we were always told we needed them. And these are the black pants that are, are very wide and are probably too long for you. Now, I think that there is a place in everyone's wardrobe for a dressier pant. We need it. I live in leggings and jeans 95% of the time. But for that other 5%, I like to have a couple beautiful trousers that, that, that can be dressed up. A good option is a slim or straight leg ponty pant or like a really pretty wide leg trouser. Okay, what are ponty pants? I'm sure if you were to see it written, right here, um, you would know what it is, but hearing it is kind of silly. It's kind of a silly word, <laughs> ponty. But I love them and they are a staple in a dressier wardrobe. Ponty pants are a double knit weave, which means that they are thicker than your average legging and they will stretch two ways. What's also great about them is that they will hold you in. They're kind of a mixture between rayon, polyester, and spandex. So they have that, that ability to just, just suck it all in, which yeah, I'll take that any day. They also look dressy. So you can throw on a blouse and a blazer and they look really nice. Another item in your closet that has gotta go are bedazzled jeans. This also goes for jeans that have that thick white stitching on the bum. I spent a lot of money on those. Think Rockin' Republics back in my college years. And they were like so great back then. But now they're gone. They're out of style. They're they're a decade old people. We gotta let we gotta let them go. The fifth item that is in your closet but is out of style and was actually 
it's never in style. This item is never in style, and that is worn out shoes. Now, I hit my shoes hard, and especially when I lived in New York and I was walking miles and miles and miles a day and was probably a couple pounds thinner because of that, I wore through my shoes so quickly, but I love to make good friends with my cobbler down the street because there were some things that are just really easy to repair in a shoe. One of them, which do go really fast, are the are like the shoe tips. I think they're just called tips. I don't know, tips, sure. These can be repaired. They simply pop it off, put a new one back on, good to go. Another item are the heels of your shoes. This, you guys, these are some of my favorite boots. I've had them for a long time. They were, hold on. They were actually one of like my first really expensive pieces. They're just fry boots. But I told my husband that they were investment and he promptly told me that I don't understand how investments work. But regardless, I have had this heel replaced mm, twice maybe. And so this is just the cobbler's heel and, and it's perfect. Once they start to wear, you just don't want it to hit the wood. Once it hits your wood or starts to wear through the, the plastic, if you don't have a wood or leather heel, like you may have gone too far. That's probably irreversible, but just don't let it get to that point and they can fix that. Another item in your closet that is very, 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 very out of style, and I'm, I am sorry if you have them, get them out, <laughs> are lace camis. When they were popular, they were long and they had lace either on the bottom or up along the neckline, probably like a V. And they were really good for layering underneath other long shirts or sweaters. I just remember when layering like that was a big, big, big thing. And I still, oh my gosh, don't get me wrong, I love to layer, I love it. Why am I not wearing more than one layer right now? It feels like I'm wearing 10 layers, but. Lace camis are out. They're gone, replace them with something a little bit more elevated and sleek if you do want to wear a cami or something underneath your blouse. The last item in your closet, but that is out of style, are patterned leggings for everyday wear. A few years ago, as athleisure was becoming popular and just really starting to become a thing, patterned leggings were all the rage and they were in floral and kitty prints and every other color and and pattern that you could ever imagine in your wildest dreams. They were very psychedelic. Now that we are moving into more of an elevated athleisure wear, these leggings should not be worn outside of a gym that might be in your basement. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to that. Instead, stick to leggings that have a more neutral pattern and more solid colors. Okay, those are my items that may or may not be in your closet but are most definitely out of style. So if you think you have a couple, just go in there, pull them out, give them away, burn them. I don't know, no. I'm sure someone would use them somewhere. Guys, I love making videos. I just, I just love it. If you like it, like below, subscribe. They'll come straight to your mailbox maybe. I don't know, YouTube, do you do that? Mm, I don't know. But like it and, and it will make me happy. Bye guys.